Welcome to the Honors Concert of the Sphinx Competition 2024, presented by the DTE Energy Foundation. This afternoon, our three junior division laureates will be competing for a $10,000 first place prize. They will be performing with the Sphinx Symphony Orchestra under the direction of Maestro Joseph Young. Also, we ask that you turn off all cell phones and refrain from any photographs or excessive noise during the performances. Thank you very much for your consideration. Please welcome the Sphinx Symphony Orchestra under Maestro Joseph Young. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Sphinx concert. To start the program, we're going to play a little violin duel between our two violinists. Now we're playing a score from uh, a movie that represents Mozart and a violinist, Joseph Boulogne St. George. And a musical duel is more like a friendly conversation that they need their, your encouragement to see who has the better solo. To play the roles of our dueling violinists. Please welcome to the stage Clayton Penrose Whitmore and Winton Grant. <laughs>
Now, please welcome Maestro Joseph Young and our first laureate, Rebecca Beato from Forest Hills, New York.
Now, please welcome Maestro Joseph Young and our second laureate, Sonia Muma from Cincinnati, Ohio.
Now, please welcome Maestro Joseph Young and our third laureate, Ana Isabella Espana from New York, New York.
Now, Maestro Joseph Young will hold a question and answer session. Please welcome Maestro Young back to the stage. Good afternoon. Can we get another hand for all of the laureates? Don't be shy. This is your chance to ask me, the musicians, any questions that you may have. So if you can make your way to the aisle, right, sure. to get questions. How many years have you been playing? How many years have we been playing? Well, I'm going to let each one, some of these members. How many years have you been playing? <laughs> well, I started when I was uh, about seven, and I'm 37. <laughs> You're going to have them do the math? OK, all right, 30 years. 30 years. Anyone else? <laughs> How long have you been playing? So I started when I was five, and I'm 27. So you can do the math. Yeah. <laughs> you have a how, many, how many years did it take you to get here? How many years did it take us to get here? I think everyone has their own journey to get to this stage, but all of us have worked really hard from the ages that you are practicing every day in the practice room. So, you know, some of them have been playing and waiting for moments like this for 30 years, 20 years. Some of you will be on this stage in two years, two months. Hopefully, if you're some of your violinists. But all we have to say for um, how we got here is that we've worked really hard. Is my violin teacher here? Is you? <laughs> He's wondering if his violin teacher is here. Anyone is violin teacher? Miss Leslie. Miss Leslie? Is Miss Leslie here? <laughs> How do you get all these people? How did we get all of these people on stage? Well, a lot of them come from different places in the United States to come play uh, with this orchestra. We came together just to play uh, this concert. So, so uh, maybe some of you came from overseas too, yeah? All over the world to come play with this orchestra. How long did it take you to get this good? How long did it take us to get this good? How long did it take some of you guys to get this good? The, the, we got to keep working. We're, we're, we keep working to be this good. How long did it take for you to perfect like this song? How long did it take to perfect this song? Well, we started rehearsals, um, what's today? We started rehearsals yesterday with the orchestra. So we come together, they all practice on their own at home, and then we come together as a group to make it really gel together for our, uh, our competition today. Um, what's your favorite color? <laughs> My favorite color? Well, I'll give you mine first. My favorite color is red. Anyone else have a favorite color they want to yell out? Purple, blue, there's some purples and blues. I hear pink, I hear some greens out here. Some reds, you like the red. Some yellows, that's great. What's your favorite instrument? Violin? Cello? I heard some drums. We don't have those here. Well, let's get some more questions. Um, I have a question 
specifically for, I think it's first cello, why is your end pin bent? Ah. <laughs> Would you like to answer that? Well, this has to do with the history of the cello. Originally, the cello had no end pin, and the musicians would play it, like holding it between their legs. Um, later on in the cello's history, you can see pictures of the cello resting on a little stool. People realized that if it had support, it was easier to play. This little stool was eventually replaced by an end pin which um, you see everybody having in their cellos now. This bent kind of end pin is known as a Stahlheimer end pin. It's bent because it holds the cello up at an angle. So for me, it makes it easier to play in the upper positions of the instrument. But it's a matter of personal preference. Some people use them, some don't, but that's why it's bent. Thank you. What is on the table? What is on the table over here? <laughs> this table? This is for our winners that you'll get to meet after the Q&A. They each get one of these. What's the difference from the small violins and the big ones? What's the difference between a small violin and a big one? Well, what we have on stage is we have our violins over here that play kind of the lead parts. And then we have over here the violas, who are slightly bigger. They, oh. The notes get a little lower. <laughs> Got some violas up there. <laughs> then we have our, our next biggest, our cellos over here. And in the back are basses that play the lowest notes. Why did you start a contest? Why did we start a contest? Well, this contest uh, is to really represent and, and give young players, black and brown players, an opportunity to shine in front of all of you. This gives them an opportunity to play with an orchestra. This gets a, an, of them an opportunity to show how much work they've put in. And it's not only a competition. To, this is also a way for them to connect with some amazing musicians on stage and their colleagues who have worked so much hard around the world. So hopefully we get to see some of you on the stage at some time playing, not only in a competition, but with your peers and being able to celebrate your hard work. So that's the reason why we wanted to celebrate all of these young musicians today. How were y'all able to memorize your finger patterns through a song? How are, we, are you able to memorize your fingering through a song? I need... I'm hearing from the orchestra a lot of repetition that they need. Anyone else? You just have to do it so much. So much, so much. But also, I don't know, everybody up here probably has a different technique for how they memorize. I'm a person who likes to sing everything, so it helps me if I can sing it, usually I can play it. That's kind of like a multi-step process for me. But if you ask anybody here, they'll probably have their own unique techniques for memorizing stuff. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna do one more question, and this will be our last one. Okay. What instrument do you play? What instrument do I play? Yeah. Well, I used to be a trumpet player, and now all I play now is with my baton. I wave my baton around, but I used to be a trumpet player. Hey, Brian, thank you so much for your questions, and thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed the concert.
And now, please welcome Andre Dow, Chief Programming Officer for the Sphinx Organization and 2019 Robert Frederick Smith Prize winner, Sterling Elliott. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you doing? Awesome. I love to hear it. How are you? One more time, louder for me, please. We need all the energy. Yes, yes, there we go. Um, my name is Andre Dowell, and I'm absolutely thrilled to see all of you here today. Uh, before we get into the awards, I want to just do a few thank yous to people. First of all, thank you all for being here. This is where you can participate and cheer your loudest for everyone that comes on stage. So first of all, give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah? Out. I'd also like to thank this amazing Sphinx Symphony Orchestra that's on stage. Can we give them a round of applause also, please? Somewhere in the house is the composer of the first piece that we performed, Michael Abels. If you're here, can you stand and can we give him a round of applause as well? Somewhere in the house. Great. We also have our amazing panel of jury members who had the great job of deciding and adjudicating today's competition. They are located in the balcony. Can you stand up, turn around, and give them a round of applause as well? I have my great friend and colleague, Sterling Elliott here who will help me present uh, the award soon. He is also a winner of the Sphinx competition, uh, the 2019 Robert Frederick Smith Prize winner, and soon to be recipient of the prestigious 2024 Medals of Excellence. Let's give him a round of applause. And I want the most thunderous, the loudest applause you can bring for the three people who just performed to you, for you today, Rebecca Beato, Sonia, and Ana Isabel Espana. Please stand up, welcome them to the stage. My name is Sterling Elliott, as you heard, and I've been so lucky to not know a world without Sphinx. Actually, my journey with Sphinx first began at the age of 12, my very first music festival being the Sphinx Performance Academy, actually studying with Marianne Ramos here. And um, shortly after, I would be the first SPA alum to participate and win both the junior and senior divisions of this competition. It's an honor. <laughs> So it's, it's such an honor to be here with you guys now to present these three awards to these wonderful junior finalists. Before we proceed, I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to you finalists. Your dedication and passion for the arts have brought you to this moment. I wish you nothing but the utmost success on your personal journeys of artistic transformation through Sphinx. So thank you. And now, the third place winner of the junior division of the 27th Annual Sphinx Competition is... Sonia Muma. The second place winner of the junior division of the 27th Annual Sphinx Competition is... Rebecca Beato. <laughs> it 
it is my honor to present the first place winner of the 27th Annual Sphinx Competition to <laughs> Anya Isabella Espana. Thank you all so much for coming tonight or today. And uh, please, one more round of applause, and we'll see you again next year. <laughs> <laughs>